What's up, guys? I am coming to you with some changes to the channel, things that are going on in my life, how they are going to influence things moving forward, and I wanted to share that with you, and I'm going to make it quick. That's actually one of the things I wanted to share. I'm going to make things quick. I'm going to get better at cutting off the fat, so I'm not going to be forever putting out 40-minute long video essays, because a lot of this stuff can be condensed, but that's number like seven in a long list. So let's get to it. First things first, thank you to Barbell Apparel for sponsoring the channel and giving me these sick Bromley tees. They have a deal right now, $99 in spend. Get to a free stealth hoodie. The stealth hoodies, they fit great. They're badass. They're comfortable. They're great for morning workouts. I love them. If you get all three Bromley tees and like a fanny pack, that'll cover the $99. You get a free stealth hoodie. So pick that up before it's over. Now on to business. So the first thing, which I've mentioned already, wife's pregnant, 20 weeks. We have an appointment tomorrow. Super excited. Everything's going great. Not my 20s anymore. And I'm not uh, just with me and my wife in a one bedroom apartment during COVID, just partying however we like, passing time however we like. We're out of that existential nightmare. So now I'm focusing on actually forming family and I have to address some stuff that I've put off for a long time. And part of that is purpose and meaning. And the example I want to leave for my son when you know we're 10, 20 years down the line. So I'm starting to think about that a lot. And that's been kind of a gap. I've always been, without getting too into it, not really religious, even though I was baptized and raised religious. So now I'm kind of going back to those roots, philosophy, a lot of discussion about uh, principles and rules. I'm trying to find my way back into something concrete. So I got a long journey ahead of me. It's exciting. I love this stuff anyway. So it's, it's interesting to me. And I want to try to tie that in where it makes sense. That doesn't mean every video I make about lifting is going to have some obscure callback to a philosopher, but I am eager to see where I can make things fit. And I think I do an okay job of that, of recognizing connections that will benefit you guys without it being super obnoxious. So that brings us to the second thing. I'm back in school. I'm going to school for a bachelor's in psychology with an emphasis in philosophy, taking a lot of really interesting classes. It's kind of heavy. Uh, I might make a video about that at some point because I'm taking an online self-paced program that uh, while it probably won't get me into a graduate program at an Ivy League school, it is accredited. And if I want to teach somewhere in the next 10, 15 years, I can go about doing that. So that's what I'm focusing on right now, mainly because I don't have a reason not to. And I think it'll be a good move for the next couple of decades to kind of look forward. You know, when I run out of things to say online, something to keep me busy. So I'm going to be reading a lot, learning a lot, and uh, hopefully the I can use that to try to augment the channel. So let me know what you guys think, because it's interesting. Every, everybody's here for lifting, but I have a huge overlap. Like 98% of you guys are men, which is astounding to me. And then in addition to that, you have different ideologies, different hobbies. There's a lot of overlap, but I think there's room to explore other things that also have broad appeal outside of the channel. So potentially things can do well in that vein as opposed to just focusing on lifting, lifting, lifting until I run out of ideas. So I'm excited to branch into that. Uh, beyond that, uh, I just started ADHD medication. I also might do a video on that because it's an interesting journey, not just what I'm going through physically or mentally, but also uh, how I saw this step in my life and how I kind of pushed against something. It was a line I didn't want to cross, which is funny because PEDs, I didn't really have a problem with. I'm like, my body's a sports car and I'm just doing what I can to soup it up. Whereas my brain, that's like more substantial. And I was always super hesitant to intervene that way. I always thought that I had to like go about it the hard way. And I think there's value to that. But at the same time, I put a lot of shit in my body that's not great for my brain either. So there was definitely a balancing act. But finally, I talked to my wife, talked to a psychiatrist, turns out undiagnosed ADHD in as much as I'm willing to suspend disbelief that there actually is something a little bit different with my brain that needs to be adjusted because right now it feels like I'm a performance enhancer for my brain. And I know that these stimulants do that for everybody. So I'm always skeptical. I'm not entirely sure, but in as much as those symptoms exist, I have them and I have for a long time. Uh, and that's its own discussion, but I'm probably going to talk about that. We'll see what it does um, to my workflow really, because if it really is that I had this barrier up that was, that was keeping me back. And if you guys have noticed swings in my content, it might go from like seeming like fire to seeming like I'm in a lull and I can't think that's what my day-to-day -day is like very often. I thought I was, that's par for the course for being a writer or content creator, but hopefully this allows me to keep quality up a little bit higher, engage a little bit more thoroughly with this stuff. We'll see how that goes. So, and lastly, format changes. I'm going to make a definite change. I've experimented so much with different types of content, the whiteboard stuff, the highly edited video essays, everything in between me riffing and tried streaming a little bit. 
And I've tried to find a good arrangement that matches the best output for time invested while also keeping quality high and hitting all the right notes. And I think I pretty much have it. At this point, if I pick a topic, if I write a long essay on it and I take time to punch it up and I film it and I send it to the wizard that is my editor, Leo, who's more like, I mean, he's damn near a co-creator rather than just an editor. The guy's wonderful. He did my last run of videos. If I do a, a video and the editing is top notch, it's because he did it. Um, but I can now engage in a workflow where I can kind of guarantee the success of those videos. I've done it in about a dozen videos this year. So I'm going to worry less about optimization for the rest of the videos. So those of you guys that get annoyed when I switch the thumbnails around, those of you guys that get annoyed when I'm changing titles and when, when I'm trying different formats. Now it's pretty much at the point where video essay, everything to the nines, everything edited up the wazoo, those will have broader appeal, appeal and will be likely to do a lot better to a broader audience. So I can bank on those and the return those give when they do well so much, I don't have to worry about the other stuff. So I'm still gonna make other videos, but I'm not going to stress, is this one video going to take off? I'm not gonna screw with those thumbnails. I'm probably not even gonna script most of them. So if you're here for lifting advice, if you're here to hear me just riff, those are gonna be sprinkled in. So really it's gonna be long form video essays. And then beyond that, it's gonna be lifting stuff and then little asides here and there like this, where I feel like talking about something else and I'll throw it in. And if 2,000 of you watch it, that's fine. If 100,000 watch it, that's fine. I'm not going to stress those videos because that's like the worst of both worlds. It like pulls me in all these different directions and it keeps me from investing time and attention in the big thing that's gonna take off. This needs to be here to satisfy you guys that, that do want the lifting stuff, that do want the straight, no BS, no frills uh, type of stuff. So I do want to engage in that as well. So it's gonna be a little bit of both. And it's also a problem when I make a channel on a particular niche that people get annoyed when I start turning out videos that are away from that niche. So if you guys didn't hit the notification bell, you're not gonna get notifications every time I put out a video. And then the algorithm is probably just going to fill your homepage with videos I put that are relevant to you. They don't show every single thing I do. If you're subscribed to me, they'll show the things that you're most likely to respond well to. So that's entirely possible. So some of it's going to be a little more kind of general commentary. Some of it's going to be uh, a little kind of random mishmash of stuff. So I'm going to say more than two thirds of the stuff is going to be lifting related. Still, that's still going to be my bread and butter, but there is going to be kind of branching out and other stuff. And I look forward to your feedback right now. I just did the video on body image, which heavily overlaps with lifting in general. It's one of the reasons I started there, but it got just such great feedback so far. It's cool to watch that video take off and see what everybody has to say about it. And that's what I'm going to try to reproduce, not just these like arbitrary view magnets that pull in people's eyeballs, but things where I can take time, engage deeply with conversations and contribute, hopefully in a way that's useful while also being a bit novel. I try not to contribute to the conversation unless I feel like I have something to say that's on that level, as opposed to just throwing out every opinion that I have. Trust me, I have a lot. You guys have been watching the channel. You know I have a lot of opinions. The the opinions back there, the, this whole room that you can't see off camera, that's filled with my opinions that I'm not going to expose you guys to because your time is valuable and I know that. So I'm just going to save the best ones. So thank you so much for being part of this channel, guys, and watching it grow. We got big things to go. I am dead set on getting a million and getting a million my way, the way I want to get it. So we're on that path right now. I appreciate everybody who's on board. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section, guys. Let me know what you think. I like engaging with you guys down there. And until next time, this is Bromley. I'll see you.